Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate interest rates using the financial calculator, the Sharp EL738. Now, we've done many other lessons using this financial calculator. So if you'd like to check them out, you'll find them in the links in the description below. So let's quickly look at this one. Number one says if you invest 10,000 Rand today in an account that will result in 14,500 in five years time, what is the interest rate that is earned? Now, must mention that this financial calculator, by default, it's compounded annually. And that's what we want for the first example, where we are not told that the interest rate or the payments are compounded more than once per year. So we're assuming that it's compounded annually here because the financial calculator also by default is compounded annually. So if we invest 10,000 Rand today, that is our present value and it will result in 14,500. That is our future value and it's for five years. So we begin with the number of years and this is our time value of money element. So we'll start from the left going all the way to the right. So we put five and then we press N for the number of compounding periods or the number of years. And then we put in the present value, which is the 10,000 rand that you would invest today. So press 10,000 and we put it as a negative because you are paying this out to invest it. So we press PV after putting it as a negative. So for you to put it in a negative, as you saw, I press the plus slash minus sign and then I press PV. And then we put in our future value, which is 14,500 and then we press FV and we've put in all that we needed to put. Now we just need to compute for the interest rate. So we press here, it's written COMP, which stands for compute. And then we press I slash Y. And that has given us the interest rate that is earned is 7.71%. Now, another thing, your present value and your future value must have opposite signs. You can't put them both as positive or both as negative. You put them that way, then you'll see an error on your financial calculator. Okay, let's move on to the second one. If Joe wants to have 35,000 rand in 10 years time and is willing to invest 2,700 at the end of each year, what does the interest rate need to be for him to achieve this goal? So here we have payments occurring at the end of the year. That is an ordinary annuity and the amount there is 35,000 rand, which is the future value because he wants to have it in 10 years time. Now let's clear our memory. So we press second function and then we press here it's written mode or CA as you can see on top of it, which is clear all. And then we can do our calculation. It's for 10 years. So we put 10 and then we press N and then we put in the payment, which is 2,700. So we press 2,700 and then we put it as a negative. So we press plus slash minus. And then the reason we're putting it as a negative is because you'll be paying this money at the end of each year. So we press here where it's written PMT for payment. If it's occurring at the end of each period or at the beginning of each period, you put it as PMT or payment. And it's important to pay attention to whether it's occurring at the end or beginning of the period. Because if it was occurring at the beginning of the period, we'd need to put it in begin mode. And we've done a lesson on that, which is the annuity due. But here in this case, it's occurring at the end of the period. So by default, the calculator is in end mode, meaning occurring at the end of the period or ordinary annuity. And then we put in our 35,000 rand, so press 35,000, and then we press FV because that's what he wants to have in 10 years time. Now we just need to get the interest rate that he needs to earn for him to achieve his goal. So we press COMP or compute and press I slash Y. And you can see the interest rates he needs to earn is 5.64% for him to receive 35,000 rand in 10 years time if he is to put in or to invest 2,700 rand at the end of each year. Now let's move on to the third one. We are told here, if you can borrow 20,000 Rand from the bank and you're required to pay back 3,000 Rand at the end of each year for the next 10 years, what is the interest rate that you are charged? Okay, so let's clear our memory, second function, and then here mode. Okay, so we need to, if you can borrow 20,000 Rand, that's our present value, and you're required to pay back 3,000 Rand at the end of each year, that is our PMT, and it's for 10 years. So we put in the period there, it's 10 years, and we press N, and then we put in the 20,000 rand as a PV and we put it as a positive because if you can borrow it, you will receive this money. So we put PV and then the 3,000 rand is what you'll be paying at the end of each year. So we put 3,000 and we put it as a negative because you'll have to pay this amount at the end of each year. And we press here, it's written PMT. And then we just compute for I slash Y. And that has given us the interest rate is 8.14%. That is the interest rate that you would be charged. Number four says, if you deposit 6,000 Rand into an account that will grow to 12,000 Rand in four years time, what is the interest 
and if it is compounded quarterly. Now the compounding here is quarterly. Remember before, it's been annually all along and by default, the calculator is compounded annually. Now we need to change it to quarterly. So how do we do that? Well, let me clear my screen and press second function mode to clear my memory. How do I change the compounding? I press second function i slash y and then I change it to quarterly. Quarterly is four times per year. So I press four and then I press here, it's written e and t for enter and you can see p slash y is four. And if I press the downward arrow, the interest rate compounding is also four, which is the c slash y. Okay, and then I press on slash c to clear my screen. Now the 6,000 rand is the present value and it will grow to 12,000 rand, which is my future value. And we asked what is the interest rate earned? So we put in our number of years, which is four, but we don't press N as yet because if it's compounded more than once per year, the compounding period is the number of years times the number of compoundings per year. So I put in the number of years, which is four, I press second function and then I press N. And you can see here, it has taken the number of years and multiplied it by the number of compoundings per year, which is four. Remember, because it's compounded quarterly. And then I press N again. So again, you press the number of years, you press second function, you press N, and then you press N again until you see answer equals to N. And you can see here in this case, it's 16. And then what do we need to do? We need to put in the 6,000 rand. So we put 6,000, that is our present value, and we put it as a negative because you will be depositing this amount, meaning it's gonna be leaving your account. And then you press PV, and then you put 12,000 rand as our future value because it will grow to 12,000 rand. And then leave it as a positive and you put FV, and then we just compute for i slash y and you can see that the interest rate is 17.71 percent and it's compounded quarterly let's look at the fifth one if you can borrow 4,000 rand from the bank and you are required to pay back 250 at the end of each month for the next two years what is the interest rate that you are charged so again in this case the payments occur at the end of each month so we need to put this into the calculator the payments occur at the end of each month so let me clear my memory, second function mode, and then I press second function I slash Y to change the compounding to 12 times per year. And then I press 12, and then I press here where it's written E and T for enter. And then if you press the downward arrow, you can see the interest rate compounding is 12 as well. So we press on slash C to clear our screen. Now we can do our calculation. The number of years is two, so we press two, but remember it's compounded monthly, so we need to press second function and then N and then N again. So it has taken the number of years and multiplied it by the number of compoundings per year, which is 12, because the payments occur at the end of each month. And then we put in the 4,000 rand, so we press 4,000 and we press here PV. Remember we put it as a positive because the money you'll be receiving it from the bank. And then we put 250 and we put it as a negative because it's our payment that you'll be paying back to the bank at the end of each month. And then we put PMT and then we just press here COMP and then we press I slash Y. And there you can see the interest rate is quite high, 42.42%. And that is the interest rate that you are charged. Let's look at the last one here. So on slash C, second function mode to clear my memory. We are told here in the last one that a 12-year loan of 70,000 Rand has quarterly payments of 3,333 Rand 33 cents. What is the interest rate if it is compounded quarterly? That is the first one. The second one is if it is compounded annually. The third one is if it is compounded monthly. So let's look at them one by one. Well, the payments occur quarterly as we are told, but the interest rate is compounded quarterly for the first one. So you can see the payment is quarterly, the interest rate is quarterly for the first one. So the payment compounding and the interest compounding coincide, they're the same. So that makes our work easy. So what we need to do, we need to change the compounding to quarterly. So we press second function and I slash Y, and you can see the P slash Y is the payment compounding. So the payments occur quarterly. So we put in here the compounding to quarterly, which is four times per year. So I press four and then I press enter and I press the downward arrow, this is the interest rate compounding of the C slash Y, which is four. And you can see that the compounding is quarterly as well. So we are fine with that one there. Now we can do our calculation. The number of years is 12, so I press 12, and then I press second function, and then I press N and N again. So it has taken the 12 years, multiplied by four compoundings per year. And then the present value is 70,000 Rand, because it's a loan, you will be receiving it. So we put it as a positive, so we press PV, and then the payments will be 
3,333.33 and then we put it as a negative so we press the plus slash minus sign because you'll be paying this money quarterly to the bank and we press PMT and then we just press COMP and then press I slash Y and there you can see our interest rate compounded quarterly is 16.22% now what if the interest rate is compounded annually what is it going to be well it's very easy with this financial calculator you don't have to put any of these elements now all you need to do is press second function i slash y the payment is occurring quarterly so that remains the same but the compounding of the interest is annually so we press the downward arrow and put the compounding for the interest or the c slash y which is the interest to one because it's compounded annually so we press one and then you press enter and now we have made our interest rate compounding to annually while our payment compounding is still quarterly so you press the upward arrow and you can see the payment compounding is still quarterly so we can continue so all we need to now do is just to press the comp for compute and then press i slash y and you can see here if the interest rate is compounded annually it's going to be 17.24 percent what if the interest rate is compounded monthly well it's just as easy so press on slash c don't have to put any of the elements here just press second function i slash y the payment is still occurring quarterly so all we need to do is just press the downward arrow and you can see the interest rate compounding is one from the previous one so we need to change it to monthly monthly is 12 times per year so you just press 12 and then you press enter then if you press the upward arrow you can see our payment compounding is still four then you press on slash c and then you just press COMP and then I slash Y to compute your interest rate. And you can see if it's compounded monthly, it's going to be 16.01%. And that is how easy it is to do it with this financial calculator. I hope it has made sense. I hope you have gained value. And if you have, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. And if you'd like one-on-one -on -one sessions with us, we offer them at the reasonable rates. And you'll find our contact information in the description below. Till next time. Cheers.